Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting a looser landscape and this time I will be using Arch watercolor paper cold press 300 GSM or 140 pounds and it is A5 size. I will glue it onto the board and this board is actually the bag from the block of paper that I used up and then I just sealed it with a Mod Podge. This painting I will be starting with a sketch and it is a quite simple sketch. I will be drawing the line that is my horizon line on the line where the forest begins and as you can see I'm starting maybe in a one fourth of the paper and going upwards to the one half of the paper and doing this wiggly uneven line going upwards and downwards and also then the fence following that line. When finished with my sketch I'm using a masking marker to mask my tree because I do want it to look as though there is some snow on the branches and when finished with that I just used some artist eraser to remove the excess graphite and that is basically it with preparation operations. Afterwards I've privetted the paper, the part that is above the line of my snow and then with a mix of blue and I think a violet and black I started to paint in the forest and I started just above that line where the forest is going downwards and I tilted my paper because I do want the paint to bleed into the sky or here in the lower part and actually in our upper part where the trees are and the trees I'm painting in just as the vertical lines. I'm not even trying to paint anything except the vertical lines making the impression of the trees and then I turned around my paper and while it's still wet I've added a little bit of black here and there mostly nearest to that line where the forest starts because that part I do want it to be the darkest and after that I've prevented the part where the snow is and I was just being careful not to touch the part where the forest is because I did not want that paint to bleed into my snow and then with a, this liner brush, script brush, very very thin brush with a pointy tip I've added in some details to the snow doing the road and some shadows beneath the fence and on the road and that is basically it. I will be adding just a little bit of yellow to the part where the road is just here right now I'm just adding just a little bit of yellow just to add a little bit of another tint. That is basically it. I did want to use just a little bit of some other color and then I left it to dry completely and when it did dry I moved on to painting the fence and you do want to be you do want to make sure that sh the part where the snow is is dry before starting to paint fence because we don't want the fence to bleed into our snow either and then I've used this smaller flat brush and as you can see I was painting actually a broken line because I did want it to make it look as though there is some snow on top of our fence so that is the reason why I'm doing those broken lines and I'm not really trying to paint one line straight line but I'm just tapping in also with my brush and doing some broken lines just to mimic some snow on top of our branches. After that I picked up uh, just a black because for the fence I did add a little bit of brown to my mix and afterwards I've used just a black and painted in the darkest parts of the fence. After that I've removed the masking marker for my branches and then moved on to painting the branches and as you can see I'm just doing those wiggly lines again. I'm not trying to paint one straight line because I do want it to make it look as though there is some snow on the branches and if you would paint a straight line and just on top of it straight line of the snow I don't believe I don't think it would look that believable or nice. I think it looks quite nicer when you do the broken lines when you wiggle with your brush and paint somewhere a little bit thicker somewhere a little bit thinner lines I do believe it looks 
little bit more believable that there is a tree branches and some snow onto the branches. So that is my advice to you to do the wiggly lines and not one straight even line. And when finished with that, I got back to the snow this time on a dry paper and just added a little bit of the details, maybe some grasses sticking from the snow, again some shadows beneath the fence and also some of the details to my road. And that is basically it with the snow. After I finished with all the details and when I was satisfied with that, only thing I did, the last thing I did is added some white sprinkles. That is sprinkles with white gouache on top of it to make it look as though there is some snow. And those sprinkles should not all be the same, just uh, they should be in different sizes. So when you pick up your white and sprinkle, just dip it slightly in the water and then sprinkle again and you will get some larger sprinkles. Also, I did sprinkle some gray onto the snow, onto the white part where the snow is because it, <laughs> when I sprinkled white, of course, they weren't visible, those sprinkles. So I've added a little bit of gray, light, very, very light wash of gray to make it look as though there is some snow falling onto the part also where the where the snow already is on our road and land. And that is basically it. With that, I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please hit the like button, share it, comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot to me. Maybe consider joining my channel. That is that join next to the subscribe button. Press that, listen to the offer and the side. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.